for this lesson, we will talk about the science of acids and bases. You probably have encountered some acids and bases. For example, vitamin C is ascorbic acid, while vinegar contains acetic acid. Sodium hydroxide, the most commonly known base, is used to make soap, while ammonia is used as disinfectant. You've also probably heard about acid rain, which can kill fish in damaged buildings. There are some theories about acids and bases. In 1894, Svante August Arrhenius proposed that acids and bases may be defined in terms of the ions they form when dissolved in water. According to him, an acid is a substance that yields hydrogen ions, and a base is a substance that yields hydroxide ions. Therefore, hydrochloric acid is an acid because it yields hydrogen ions and sodium hydroxide is a base because it yields hydroxide ions in water. Johannes Nicholas Bronsted and Thomas Lorry suggested a more general definition of acids and bases in 1923. According to their theory, an acid is any substance that can donate a proton to another substance and a base is any substance that can accept a proton from another substance. The acid strength depends on its tendency to donate protons, while the base strength depends on its tendency to accept protons. In 1923, Gilbert Newton Lewis developed an even more general theory based on the sharing of electron pair between acids and bases. From his point of view, Acid-base reaction can occur if there is a molecule or ion that can accept electron pairs, and a molecule or ion that can donate electron pairs. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed learning with us. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification button. I'll see you in the next lesson.